We continue our reading of Lest We Forget, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading, December 10. God Still Leads, Part 6. He led you through the vast and dreadful desert, that thirsty and waterless land. Deuteronomy 8.15 God still leads his people through some difficult terrain, and they have only two choices, stay with him or return to the easy life in spiritual Egypt. There, Adventist leaders in California stood with three days to raise the $5,000 for the purchase of Loma Linda, and with nothing but financial sand in view. But they did have one possible lead. A couple of weeks earlier, Burden and Pastor R.S. Owen had heard about a person who might have some means. After taking the train to near his home, they walked the final mile and a half, but no one was home. They returned to the train stop and waited, but for some reason they failed to signal it, and the train passed them at full speed. With two hours on their hands before the next one, the men walked back to the cabin, which now had a light on in it. Praise the Lord, the farmer shouted as Burden explained the situation. I've been praying for months for the Lord to send me a buyer for my place that I might get out of the city and devote my means to advance his cause. A few days ago, a man came and purchased my place, and the money is now lying in the bank. The devil has been tempting me to invest it again in land, but I am sure the Lord wants it to secure this property. At that point, he offered the astonishing ministers $2,400. Then, just before the June 15 due date, Burden solicited a loan from a woman named Baker, who had also caught the vision. Are you willing to risk $1,000, he asked. Yes, she replied. You may lose it, he reminded her. Well, she said, I will risk it. Next, Burden conferred, conferred again with R.S. Owen. I don't have the money, he declared but I'll mortgage my house for it. With Owen's loan, they finally had the first $5,000 on the very day it was due. So far, so good, but the next $5,000 was due in five weeks, and now they were truly out of good prospects for more money. Sometimes the deserts of life are more extensive than we expected. But just because the going gets tough doesn't mean that God isn't with us. This concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.